Welcome back, everybody, to WTL, Where's the Line, Nebraska's first and only sports betting show. I'm your host, Ian D. Class, and joined by Jabron. Ooh, the <laughs> Parlay Pounder. You got it. You got it. Oh, man. You, you still got to be riding that high. The Twins. I, I will not stop until Saturday. <laughs> oh, I will not yet. stop until you Saturday. Know, and I didn't want to I didn't want to rain on the parade or whatever, but you guys threw a little salt in the wound there in that opening segment because the last time the Twins won a series was against my Oakland Athletics. Yep. That was the Moneyball season. Yeah, if you want to watch the, the mm-hmm. thing, just yeah, watch the end of Moneyball. Yeah. All the good stuff happens, <laughs> and then you lose to the Twins. <laughs> yep. My, my, exactly. Yeah, my Eddie Gordado, the oh. GOAT. Yeah, yeah, just... Yeah, yeah, you guys talk about heartbreak. Yeah, talk about an open <laughs> fan. Oh, it, it's, God. We're just like all the the, the Spider Man meme, you know, yeah. just like pointing at <laughs> pointing heartbreak. At we're just like, <laughs> yep. And so we got Marissa Voss back yeah. in back in the Ooh. studio with Ooh. us here. We're gonna talk a little college football yeah. now. Mm, love it, love Because there's some big games out there with some big betting lines. Yeah, and none bigger than this one. We're probably gonna start off with, and that is the Red River. Rivalry. Yeah. Talking about the Sooners, 5 and 0. The Longhorns, they're also 5 and 0. Texas, number 3 in the nation, Oklahoma number 12. This has everything to it. Texas a slim 3 point favorite I believe was the last line I looked at. No, yeah. six and a half. Six and a half. Mm. Is six and be. a half with that hook. Yeah, yeah. They're three in the nation. Excuse me. Uh, that over under sent at sixty and a half. A little bit of inflated, but it, you don't really have to use your imagination to see these two teams going off for to sure. combining mm-hmm. for sixty points. That's going to be on ABC eleven mm. o'clock kickoff. Jabron, what's your initial thoughts? On yeah, this uh, it's going to you know make a lot of people scratch their head, but I'm on Oklahoma for this game. Whoa! Ooh. More Ooh. often than not, the Sooners have held their own against Texas in the Red River. Red Rival. Red rubber, <laughs> rubber, <word. laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but in recent years, obviously, this team looks far better than the one that stumbled mm-hmm. last year, forty nine to zero. But I have to think yeah. that that result has stuck with Oklahoma, and they're ready to get back. I believe Texas is riding a little bit high right now, they and, they, and they need a little bit of a check game. I do not believe that Oklahoma is going to win this game, but I believe Texas mm. is just going to squeak out with a field yeah. goal or okay. a late touchdown. Mm-hmm. I believe that the Oklahoma can cover the six and a half. Oklahoma's covered their last six teams. So, I mean, that old adage, good teams win, great teams cover. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Sooners, 100% for the Sooners. They are covering. <laughs> Marissa, how do you feel about this one? Um, I would say the same thing. I mean, it, it's hard when you go up against a three number three seed versus a 12 seed <laughs> with the Sooners, and you're yeah, like, okay, sure. like like on paper, whatnot. Mm-hmm. I, I can't, in my good honest, just because... My ex lives in Texas. I can't oh, go. With, I can't ooh. go with the Longhorns. All our I exes can't. live in Texas. All I my exes live in Texas, so I got to go with the Sooners with a <laughs> big upset go. on this one. Let's um, go. One team's gonna be walking out undefeated, and it's gonna be the Sooners. So I, I also I just I love upsets. I'm like I'm just like give them yeah. to me. Well, and this is an upset that I don't think anyone would be surprised to see. Oh, Even for though sure. Texas exactly. is ranked third in the nation and and all that stuff. Uh, I do want to throw this out there. The under has smacked five of the last six games that Texas has played in. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I see a easy path to that mm-hmm. 16 and a half, but that's still a lot of points. And no. that, that's been getting burned up this season. Yeah, Whether yeah, yeah. we're talking Colorado, we're talking Oregon. Talk- when we're talking the overs, we've been getting burned. When we're talking about Big 12 and Pac-12 football, everybody mm-hmm. says over, over, over. Those yeah. have been getting burned. Like you've been saying, uh, I think this is a, a, gl- a glaring, obvious one, Andy, because this is going to be a tight game. I uh-huh. believe this is going to be a tight game, and I believe it's going to hit that under, under. as well. So uh, it's not... I'm not trying to say Texas is, you know, not look good because yeah, they yeah. looked awesome, but Oklahoma's been solid so far, and I think at worst keep this close yeah. and cover that spread. You like the under? Marissa? I like the under on that. We're going. We going under. under. <laughs> We're going under. <laughs> We're going under. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Let's move on to another uh, couple of uh, ranked opponents here. Yeah. Number ten, Notre Dame. They lost that one game, a thriller. Yeah. At home, mm-hmm. man, that, that that was fun, and you know, refs, bad calls, everything came into play as mm-hmm. for sure. As always, for every Notre Dame loss, it's the refs' fault. Even, yeah. <laughs> even if it's uh, Ohio State. Ohio State. Yeah. Um, but now they're going on the road to take on Louisville, 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 however you want to say it. The Cardinals are 5-0. and mm. They're also a six-point underdog at home to Notre Dame. Marissa, you want to you wanna start with this one? Yeah, I mean, obviously, okay, I, this is a weird kind of thing because every time I tell people I'm a Minnesota fan, Minnesota Gopher fan, but I'm Ooh. also an Ohio State fan. Oh, okay. Yeah, All so right. I know All it's, right. a, it's a weird thing, but okay. it's no, my no. uncle no. went there. Okay. So O-H-I-O. that game, though, I swear I didn't think that Ohio State was going to win. I thought Notre Dame was going to win. <laughs> yeah, and because, that feeling. And 
I don't know how they did because Notre Dame is a really good squad and I think that yeah. they deserve more, right? They deserve yeah. more height. They deserve more light. Um, mm-hmm. I just, I, I think they're going to come out of this one obviously on top. I think it, they're going to hand the first L to Louisville or Louisville, Louisville the Cardinals, you whatever you want to say it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think they're going to hand the first L and... That's my opinion on it. All right. Jabron, you got him covering his six you, points, though. I, I, no, I, I, do, I do have Notre Dame winning this game, but mm-hmm. I do believe that this line shows a little bit of uh, it's Notre Dame, mm-hmm. so they're ranked and they're going yeah. to win by a touchdown. I believe they've been a little too shaky over the last mm-hmm. two weeks to have this inflated line here. Ooh. Uh, obviously, Ooh. losing a heartbreaker – Ohio State, yeah. and then escaping Duke. I really thought they, they did were, escape that I game. I thought they were going to lose yeah. that game. I think yep. they should have lost. Yep. But you know that's what good teams mm-hmm. do. They win at the end. Figure it out. The Louisville Cardinals are a balanced team, eleventh in total offense and twenty fourth in scoring defense. Andy, so Ooh. this is a very good team. This isn't just a walkover team yeah. like most people are oh, yeah. probably mm-hmm. giving them. I do believe they keep it close. I believe Notre Dame wins by a touchdown, though. They're they're going to squeak out yep. for the third straight. They got week. you covering. I kind of feel like the best bet, and you you kind of hit on it there, yeah. is the over. Yeah, it's yeah. at fifty four right now, and when people think Notre Dame, they think this ground and pound type. Mm-hmm. Not this no, year. Not and yeah, they've really evolved. I uh, love their quarterback, who they got uh, their trigger man, and the over has smacked ten of the last thirteen times. That's dating. That's predating uh, this new yeah. offense. And you just talked about Louisville. They are a high flying offensive machine. For sure. I think they're going to cover this 54. I, I think that might be the best bet of this game. I think you're right, Andy. Plus, it's a night game. The crowd is going to be fully yeah. into it. It's going to yeah, be yeah. points on both sides of the ball. I like the over. I like the cover by the Cardinals as well. All righty. Let's move on to a couple more ranked teams here between the Kentucky Wildcats yep. and the Georgia Bulldogs. Number one, Georgia mm. Bulldogs. Let's see, Kentucky here. Where are you guys ranked at? They're ranked 20th, okay. Yeah. But they're 5-0. Yeah. and oh. They're the Wildcats. They're the yep. Wildcats. Ooh, they're, they're a Wildcat <laughs> of a pick here. Yeah. 14 and a half. You got the half-point hook there. Uh Georgia has not impressed, but that might be because they're, you know, everyone's thinking three P and they need to mm-hmm. roll everybody by four touchdowns. Um, are they gonna win by over two touchdowns here, Jabron? I really don't see this happening for yeah. Georgia. Mm. Um, I saw this line at plus twenty four, Andy. I don't know if I'm wrong or right or it's got bet down or whatever. Let me see. Um, yeah, it opened at twenty four. You're exactly right. It's been I'm bet s- down to fourteen and a half. That's it what, opened at twenty four. Yeah. And, wow. now, and now it's down to 14 and yeah. a half, Andy. Yeah. So that that just tells me that a lot of people are jumping off this Bulldog bandwagon yeah. with uh, these inflated lines just because they can't score the points to yeah. cover these lines. So mm-hmm. uh, if anybody got that at plus 24, that's, that's an absolute lock because they will not beat this con- good Kentucky team by 24 points. Now, the 14 and yeah. a half is a much easier path for the Georgia Bulldogs. Sure. But I still believe mm-hmm. with that half point that I would have to ride <laughs> with the Wildcats. So... Uh, yeah. I'm going to take a stab with the Wildcats uh, just because I don't believe Georgia's offense is uh, just good yeah. this year. Yeah. So mm-hmm. they got a really, really good defense that keeps the you know scores mm-hmm. low, but uh, it's not the Georgia of old where they win 70 to zero. Yeah. So Marissa, where are you at with this one? Do you think Georgia can win by more than two touchdowns? I don't know. I don't think so. Historically, if you look at this last year, one November nineteenth in twenty twenty two, sixteen to six, mm-hmm. Georgia barely beat Kentucky. For sure, right? that was and such a close one. Exactly, and that's what I. For some reason, I think Kentucky has Georgia's number. It doesn't matter. And even mm-hmm. you're looking at number one last okay. year and how stacked they were. Obviously, yeah. so I think this year, without all that components, it's going to be the same thing. I don't think. I don't think you want to go. Covering and going yeah. to winning by two touchdowns. I think you want to go on the under on this one because that's mm. just how these two teams match up. Yeah, yeah the over under sitting there at forty eight, and Kentucky is a team that covers. They're five and zero, yep. and they've covered for the last five yes. games. Yeah, I think I like the Wildcats here too. Yeah, a bit and a big reason, Andy. I should have mentioned this earlier. Considering Kentucky's big rushing performance, enticing to think that they're 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 going to find some mm-hmm. you know uh, success on the ground against Georgia. The Bulldogs gave up two hundred and nineteen yards Ooh. rushing against. Wow. Auburn. So I believe that if, yeah. if Kentucky can get this run game going, yeah. it's going to make the game go a lot yep. faster. I believe that under hits, and I believe Kentucky covers this spread. Boom! I like it. The Love it. Under. Love Kentucky it. Kentucky covering. <laughs> That's a consensus here. I think it might, yeah. Be, yeah. That, yep. that might be your best bet. Yep. Absolutely. I think she's making us be nicer to each other. I, really I do believe. think so. It's, it, you know, I'm just that, <laughs> Taking, have that influence. Help That's nice. You guys, <laughs> you guys are just really excited about the twins. We are. I think we're on, on the high. We're like, we're everything is high. great and it's amazing. I know. I know one game that 
going to bring us down from the high. Oh, here we go. Oh. And this is the game that all of our eyeballs are on. <laughs> you were talking about all these 5-0 and o teams, 4-1 yeah. teams. Let's talk about a couple of 2-3 and three teams oh, right now. Man. That's the Nebraska Cornhuskers heading oh, on man. out to Champaign, glitzy Champaign, Illinois. Illinois, State baby. on fire. The f- yeah. <laughs> Also, theirs is also Memorial Stadium. Do you know how much of a yeah. panic attack I had when I said, wait, Memorial? I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Memorial What's Stadium's going on? on Memorial fire. Stadium's on fire. The one in Lincoln, but they're not playing in Lincoln. I was so lost. And I, yeah. I love the report that came out. They, uh, they play on artificial grass, mm-hmm. and they said a lawnmower got caught on fire. I was like, why do they have a lawnmower? <laughs> like, That's what's going on? That's a lot on? of questions coming out of Memorial yeah, Stadium like, what are you in Champaign. About? Why do you have so a lawnmower? Confused. And with all that stuff going on, the fighting Illini, the fighting Brett Bielema's, yeah. Our three-point favorite. They're hanging on to this, and I get it. Nebraska got boat raced by Michigan. Oh, I was God. trying. I was with our live show, the oh, pregame show. Man. Everything went great except for the game. Yeah. <laughs> and I was trying to stay positive. You, you, Marissa, you yep. were there doing your thing, um, making really cool videos for TikTok and everything else. And uh, I was trying to stay positive. You know, we had no block, no rock there. Of course. Yeah, shout they're, out. They're kind of pessimistic, right? Oh, yeah. they are. Absolutely, um, 100%. <laughs> but but then, then they were 100% right. Yeah. But Illinois mm-hmm. got beat by an average, at best, Purdue team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, I don't know how to read into that. I, I'm, I was kind of thinking this would be a coin toss game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and now that with everything else that's coming out, and it's not all, you know, roses coming out of uh, – Illinois. Mm -hmm. No. I kind of like Nebraska. I really do covering this three points. Yeah, this is tough for me, Andy, because Mm -hmm. like you said, last Saturday in Lincoln was one of the funnest days in Lincoln until the game started. The the party was nonstop. Mm -hmm. Everybody was just in good good emotions Mm -hmm. for the bus and bowl. Everybody was just going nuts until the game started. And then I told myself when I was walking out of that stadium with my tail between my legs, head down, I will never (laughs) bet on this team again. (laughs) Guess what? I've had a couple days. There we go. And now oh, we're I'm back, back in it, baby. On the no, we're no, no. Back I, in I, it. I just, you know, the Nebraska <laughs> team obviously has trouble scoring the ball, mm-hmm. but yeah. this Illinois team is not the same defense they had from last year yeah. that ravaged. They got ravaged by the NFL. They had a really, really good Defense. defenses. Yeah. Yeah. They had uh, losing three of their top guys mm-hmm. in the top 75. I think these two are, the, I'm going to take the lesser of two evils here, Andy, and Mm-hmm. Bank on the Huskers running game mm-hmm. getting going, prolonging okay. this game. I see still books have this at three and a half. If you can get it at three Ooh, and a half, I like that. smoke I? that. Uh, I'm a little weary about losing to Illinois at the end just because I know that we have not produced a fourth quarter drive this this season that means anything. So uh, mm. I, if you can get it at three and a half, I'm on the Huskers. I'm still probably on them at three. Uh, but if if you're looking juicy, look at that money line because this is a team that we yeah. can play with, yep. and uh, it's yep. going to be plus money for you. So. Plus one twenty six, right? Yep. So if you if, uh, if you're still on the Huskers, this is as good a chance as any of winning a game this year. So uh, yeah, I'm go big red. And I want to look at it from another angle, Marissa. Yep. I want to yep. uh, get get your thoughts on this. Mm-hmm. Uh, the total is sitting there at forty two and a half. Hasn't had a lot of movement, and these are two under teams. Yep. Illinois, I think, has gone under uh, like four of their last, yeah, four of their last six games, yeah. and everybody knows about Nebraska. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ten of the last 14 games, they have smacked that under. So not only are there is the offense struggling, like you mentioned there, yeah. and they are struggling, mm-hmm. uh, the odds makers can't even catch up to how bad the Huskers are uh, going under 10 of 14. That's pretty wild, as sharp as some of these lines are. For so sure. I still think this under might be the best bet of the game. I think so. I mean, you're looking at two teams who are pretty similar Mm -hmm. if you look at them on paper side by side. And they're just low scoring. This is going to be a low scoring match, in my opinion. It's going to be, okay, maybe we're winning by a touchdown. Maybe we're probably more than likely going to be winning by a field goal, whether that be Illinois, whether that be Nebraska. Nebraska. And especially if. Who's going to be QB for Nebraska? Is is it still up in the air? Is Jeff Sims going to win and play? Because if Jeff Sims plays, I don't like Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be. Preaching I'm not a Jeff Sims fan. I'm not. I don't like him. Obviously, I saw how he played versus the first two games. Oh, and yeah. Now he's a high ankle sprain. And all of a sudden, you got the kid yeah. coming in that played. Didn't he play high school in Nebraska? Like yep. the whole Carney. hometown, bring him in. Yeah. Um, but Catholic. I mean, I love it. I love the run game on that. So if you can get that going, where you're not having Jeff Sims at QB, I really do believe in this Nebraska mm-hmm. s- squad. I think that yeah, they're gonna be a little bit scared from Michigan mm-hmm. because no who doubt. isn't when you have. Yeah. That I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. That was horrible <laughs> to watch. It was yeah. very, very We've hard. Been through it, but so. but I mean, yeah. if you run the ball, it's like the blind side. It's like, hey, enough with the trick plays. Run the dang ball. There we go. That's what needs to happen. And then I would, 
I think it's going to be low scoring, but I think Nebraska is going to edge this one out. All right. I like the under. I, I, think I believe, we're... too, and the Huskers' defense is where you really need to yes. hang your hat on. Yeah. Yes. We're going to keep, no matter what, the defense is going to keep this yep. game close. And if we can get that run game going, make a few plays in the fourth quarter, we're going to win this game. So I do agree with everything she just said. Go Huskers. Go defense. Go running game. There you go. Love it. Go Big Red. Let's go. Let's take a minute to recognize one of our fabulous partners, and that is the Stock and Rod Company, an outdoor lifestyle brand for those seeking adventure. Whether it's hunting, fishing, hiking, they got you covered. Visit StockandRod.com to get your wild game on. Don't go anywhere. This is WTL.